Hi, my name's Simon Whaley and I write the Business of Writing column in Writing Magazine. And in the July issue, I wrote about office locations. And one of the authors, Joanne Harris, showed us her shed where she goes to write each day. And it struck me that I actually have two offices. I have an office at home with my desk, with my computer, where I sit down and write. But whenever I get stuck, I go out for a walk. And I feel that this, the great outdoors, is my other office. Because there's a Latin phrase that, I, that resonates with me, which is solvature ambulando. And that basically translates as, you can resolve it through walking. So whenever I get stuck, or the idea's just not flowing, I get up and I come out into my other office. Walking's a great way of stimulating the brain. That physical exertion often um, releases endorphins, which makes us happier. And a happy mind is a creative mind. And once you're out and about, the ideas will often start flowing. For example, over there is Church Stretton, my hometown. Um, I wrote about that for the People's Friend magazine, Travel Piece. My hometown, but it's a travel piece that worked well for them. Then slamming round here we've got the Long Mind, which is our local upland area. And in the 19th century, the Reverend Donald Carr spent a night in the snow. It was the worst blizzard ever to hit Shropshire during the 19th century and he was on that hill in the snow for over 24 hours. But he eventually managed to scramble his way down and get back to civilization, where he bumped into somebody taking a telegraph to the post office announcing the death of the very same Reverend Carr. His, his account's often called The Miracle on the Mind. I wrote about that for BBC Countryfile magazine. It also appeared in a piece I did for Country Walking magazine. It's the same, there are ideas everywhere. I pan round a bit. Oh, there's the Reekin over there near Ironbridge, the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. So many articles I've written about that. And you can't quite see it, but just over my shoulder there is Apedale. Um, don't ask me why it's called Apedale, there is no river ape running through it. I haven't found that one out yet. Um, but down there, there's a small church called Langley Chapel. And that was one of the first buildings acquired by the nation, for the nation, by the Ministry of Works back in the early 20th century. Today, we know the Ministry of Works as English Heritage. And Langley Chapel is a marvellous building, 16th century. And that became an idea for an article for the Simple Things magazine. So as I say, as I'm out and about, I'm always looking around for potential article ideas. It can even work well for books. Many of the places you see behind me are venues for walks that I've done for my book, Best Walks in the Welsh Borders. So if ever you get stuck, you don't have to go for a walk. Just go outside, go into your garden, step out onto the street and just have a walk and see what happens. Because as I say, remember two words. Solvature Ambulando. Good luck.